Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode two in our series of Project High Rise. And we started off today, we basically were highlighting two of the employees that work in our wonderful, what may be a tower one day. And that is Wanda and Jim, as they were walking down from the top floor to the basement, which was, well, it's not the basement, really, uh -huh. to the work construction office. There you go. And um, Wanda first, and then Jim, they're now going back up the stairs. So we have highlighted the heroes of today's working environment. Uh, now, also, I've got to tell you that when I was just starting up the game, but before I went online, I clicked on the office over here, and I thought, oh, I'll go and find out what it means when you go and click on an insurance contract. I mean, sorry, an advertising contract to get some new tenants. And just by clicking on it, I activated the ad. So I put an ad, <laughs> I put an ad in for insurance offices, and I thought, oh, that was clever. But that was because I clicked up there. So I thought, oh, I'll have a look at accounting offices. Maybe I can get more details if I don't click on that. But I click on the actual block itself. Well, guess what? Does exactly the same thing. So no matter where you click on this space, if it's telling you you can run an ad um, and you click on it, you automatically get the ad. So I spent $100 on ads. One up here and one down here and we're going to get a response in just a little minute actually we've got some more down here we've got legal offices and stuff going on but that's that's okay i want to see what happens when we get our response oh wow i got oh that's cool okay so insurance offices give us 100 105 and what do they need an electrical line. Oh, and a copy service. An accounting office gives us a lot more. I think we're going to go with the accounting office. Oh! And look, fireworks. Congratulations. You completed the contract. Proof of concept. The reward payment of $500 has been wired to your account. If you feel up to it, more lucrative contracts may be available under the contracts menu. Well, we'll get to that in a second. So, uh, actually, 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 don't call me Ashley. Um, how do you tell what's what around here? Central taxes. It doesn't tell you what ca accounting, right? Tax service. Tax service, accounting. Insurance. So we've got one, two, three insurance. Four, five insurance. What are you? CPA. So five insurance. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Accounting. So we could go. We could go one insurance. Four. M O Sharp and Co. Sure, I like M O Sharp and Co. And then you can be an accounting office. Now, do we have another CPA? <gasps> There's a CPA. Let's get the CPA. I quite like the CPAs. Now, CPAs need something. What do they need? A phone line and an electrical line. So we need phones there. All right, give me the thing. See, I remembered. You, you can remember things. Um, you can. Sure you can. Go all the way to the end. There you go. Phone line. Okay, very good. Now, up... Hold on, we get the game going. Now, up here, we're making more room. That's going to be exciting. So let's go to speed two. And get some more tenants in there. Actually, now while that's going on, where were contracts? Don't want a lender, want contracts. Where are contracts? Well, look, we've got 24 population and zero visitors. Okay. Contracts? Contracts. 
Uh, there are two. Oh, they look like there's quite a few actually. Oh dear. More people. What do we need? Increase your building population to 50. Uh, double it, basically. The city's Department of Planning and Development looking model sustainable growth program. Daily revenues, mm, that's a lot. That's 200% improvement of where we are. Planning and development again. Heavily depend on one sector end up with six. To that end, they'd like you to move in a diverse group of 16 small offices. <gasps> and we get five influence. That's quite nice, actually. 16 small offices. Oh, we could go to Ada and get a report. Okay. Tenant listing, tenant overview. Offices, 12. We've only got four more to go. Okay, I think that I think that one is an easy reach for us. So that was incremental income. No, that wasn't it. Basic offices, $1,500, and five influence. Okay, so the Department of Planning and Development wants to ensure that the city commercial tax base is diversified and not overly dependent on only one sector succeeding or vulnerable should it collapse. Sorry. And not overly dependent on only one sector succeeding or vulnerable should it collapse. Maybe. Maybe. Not, not too sure the grammar there is good, but sure, okay. To that end, they'd like you to move in a diverse group of 16 small... Does that mean 16 more? Or a total of 16? Ah, whatever. Not yet started. Ah, uh, sign contract. Okay, I think now... I wonder how many contracts you can have going at one time. That's a good question, actually. Retail, dessert. Retail, dessert. No, I don't want retail. The good side, no. I wonder if we can have two contracts going simultaneously. Well, if we take this one, we double our building population. So we could do that as well, I think. How are these businesses doing? Uh, they're not doing very well. He only made about a tenth of his um, lease. That's not so good. Okay, so they're going. Now, what are we going to do up here? All right, hold on. Let's have a look at our options. We want options. We've got six. We've got six out of four insurance agents and six out of four accountants. We did very well. We need lawyers and creatives. Do you? I couldn't think of anything more interesting than putting a lawyer's office right next to a marketing department. <clears throat> Let's do that, shall we? That seems like a wonderful idea. So. Um, we had a plan, didn't we? Small office. Small office. Small office. Space. So we can probably go three of one and two of the other, maybe. Does that make sense? I think it probably does. Right, all right, carry on. Where's Wanda? Wanda's down there. I wonder if Wanda would like to go out in the day. Well, anything more? Look at this. Are any of those people visitors? Don't think so. Okay, now we get to make choices. So, do we want legals or cre Oh, we only get three creatives anyway. Um, I'm going to put the creatives at the end though. What do creatives need? They need an electrical line and a phone line. Well, a courier service and a copy service. We've got both of those. 
So we're okay with legal. And creative is a three. Wow, look how much creating. Creating? Look how much creative officers bring in. City view talent. Or bottled water service. Yeah, we can do that. We can put a bottle of water service in. In fact, let's do the bottle of water service first. So that... So that um, we don't have a problem. $300. See, we can afford that. Um, okay, I'm going to put it down here on this floor. That's the risers for that, right? I'm going to leave two more there, just because I don't know and put the bottled water service there cool and then I'm going to go back and you know what I'm going to make these guys the creatives and also we got more accounting services too uh, creatives amazing model agency I love amazing models. I think that's what we're going to go with. Um, and I think we're going to need to put a new riser in, frankly. Uh, in electricity this way. And phone. Actually, I didn't have to run it all the way out there, but I just did. Fine. And you are another creative, I think. Cohen Design and City View Talent. I like design. We've got we've already got one model agency. Let's get a design company, and then let's get a legal 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 Peter legal. M. O. Sharp, Eugene Cantu. <laughs> Sorry, Eugene Cantu. It's almost like Eugene can do. Okay, Elder Investigations, Doris Cantu. Oh, look at that. Roger, oh dear. Roger Piotrowski. Sorry if I've got that wrong, if you're from that. I don't even know where that would be. Eastern Europe, somewhere, prior to hitting the Russian border, I guess. You know what? I'm going to go with Elder Investigations because I think what we're talking about there is Eldar. So I quite like having a a Fey um, representative of the of the those people in the building. Uh, so the other thing was Doris Can Do or Mr. Sharp or Roger Piotrowski. I like Roger Piotrowski. We probably need some some um, some investigative prowess in our building. Oh, look at that! He made seventy dollars today. He's getting close to making his rent. That's pretty good. So we're up to 29 and we've got a visitor and we've got one prestige. From having 29 population, more at 40. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> what did we say you were going to be again? Uh... Amaz oh, that's right. Creatives. There's one creative left. We'll take you. Thank you. I think that's pretty good going. We'll get we'll get all this set up. Plus, I think, and therefore I am, we should extend our building by spending copious amounts of money. Actually, we're making $90 a day, which is 
not oh oh what's happening there hold on hold on we have a problem ladies and gentlemen we have the problem that says not enough electrical transformers in the building yeah that's going to be a problem isn't it uh transformers so the first one is 10 the second one is 50. so at what point do we go to 50 to to break even hang on so this costs 250 and it costs 250 a day and this one costs well two thousand and seven fifty a day. I'm not too concerned about the upfront cost as I am about that ten. So ten gives us two fifty, twenty gives us five hundred, thirty gives us 750 so when we get to 30 we're better off going and buying the 50 because then the next two after that don't cost us anything and guess what we're going to the third one right now so that was nothing if not appropriate now it would be better do we get anything if we demolish this Okay, how do we demolish? Oh yeah, we do that. Okay, evict or remove. Evict or remove. Do we get anything for selling it? Probably not. And then we're going to put in the th the 50. Right? Which, oh, also space-wise, takes up one and a half of an ordinary one anyway. So it's got two benefits. Save space and um is good for us okay all right so we've spent uh -huh, we've spent a lot of money i think we should stop spending money for a minute that would be my plan probably go up it's still making 90 dollars a day though But we have fourteen dollars in the bank. Not so good. No budget summary. Total expenses five thousand, total revenues two thousand. Okay. But today we're making eight hundred and seventy dollars a day. Mm. Ah, so it does the calculation every night. Okay, that's fine. Well that's actually that's not bad for us. Wander and Jim are back there. It was Jim, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was Jim. I wonder if Jim would go on a date. I wonder if there are any eligible girls in the building who Jim would go on a date with. I don't know. Does Jim even date girls? Does Wanda even date boys? Uh, the world's confused. It is, you know. Uh, we need to build some offices. And so... The city... Oh, hang on. I feel we should read this. The city's transit agency has temporarily... If you sit in a dark room and talk to a computer screen and a microphone long enough, that's what happens to your words. The city's transit agency has temporarily relocated a major bus terminal across from your building because of nearby street construction. Because of that, you can expect more foot traffic into your stores and restaurants over the next five days. That's good. Except we don't have any stores. Maybe we should build a store. 
No, nah, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should just carry on. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. You know what just happened, don't you? We, we, we need to remove you and put you there. Well, you're free to build anyway, so there you go. We did it. We're going we're gonna to have a pretty soft, we're going to have basically an office block at the moment. Now, what have we got? Oh, we got a lot, actually. But creatives? Okay. These are ranked pretty much in what rent they return. Sky's Agency. I think we want Sky's Agency. For sure. We want... Probably a legal office. Emo Sharp, Eugene Cantu, Doris Cantu. I wonder. I don't want any problems between husband and wife. Or father and daughter. Or mother and son. It's getting complicated, isn't it? Let's just go with Mr. Sharp. Seems like a better option, quite frankly, all round. Now, accounting or insurance? One of each. Yep, one of each. Wow. Mazur and Associates wants to pay 160 Done. And in terms of insurance, you can't have too much insurance. Rocks and Singh. Interesting combination. Einikis and Lef, Lef Ebru. Oh, good grief. Eagle Insurance, no. I'm going to go with these guys, even though I can't pronounce their names. Um, no more creatives. Two more legals. What have we got? We've got two legals at the end, actually. Hang on. I thought we had two legals at the end. No, we've got three. All right, let's hold that thought. Um, two legals at the end. Right. Eugene. And Doris Cantu. And then one more. Got a CPA? Luis Ribeiro. Rib Ribeiro and Co. Luis Ribeiro and Co. I like you. Luis, welcome. Please settle yourself in. Oh, it's raining. Hope it snows. More people need it. Population 33, need 50. We've got six out of four insurance agents, six out of four accountants, and four out of four creatives. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Oh, what's up here? Oh, we need to run telephones. Did we just run out of money? Yep, we just ran out of money. That's sad. How much is telephone line? Doesn't say. We need to get to the end of the day. I'm not going to borrow money. Mm -mm. We need to get... Something has this... Yeah, I know. We know... Oh, wow. It's a lot. Okay. All right. Hold it. Yeah, I don't want everyone to get upset with me. Let's go to the bank. Oh, dear. We don't need a lot. We'll take this one. You took out a loan. Yeah, I know. So sue me. All right. So you got a telephone. Okay, now what? 
You can't function without... Oh, an electrical wire. Oh, good grief. We didn't even put electricity in. Ah! That's really slack. Uh, and the bottled water is in. Fine. All right. Everyone be happy now. Oh, don't you dare go away. I put a lot of effort into getting you into that building. What's your problem? According to this, well, Norm is happy, but maybe the tenant isn't. Why? Tell me. Expects courier service, expects copy service, needs an electrical line. Got all of the above. Don't be difficult. You're being difficult. Well, I suppose if they're going to move out. Oh no, they're happy now. Oh, okay. Congratulations, you completed the contract. Basic offices. The reward payment of $1,000 has been wired to your account. If you feel up to it, more lucrative contracts may be available under the contracts menu. There you go. Look, we've even got fireworks. And he's still not happy. Oh, plus one influence. This is your prestige level. This is your buzz. Once you reach 50 buzz, you'll be able to spend it on a media campaign. And we have eight influence. Once you accumulate 10 influence, you'll be able to leverage your influence to improve your building in a multitude of ways. I'll be curious to see what that is, actually. Um, and it's almost midnight. And let's go from $870 a day to... Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, ho, ho, $800 to $1,700 a day. Nice. Well, I think the next adventure... I don't know what to do. I actually, I'm thinking of moving these from the ground floor to the basement. I think, I think, I think, I think I'm thinking that's what I think I should do. But that's expensive because they're like $300 each. That's $900 for very little gain. Donuts are not doing at all well, are they? Hot dog shop is doing okay. I wonder if that's because they stop there before they get to him. Mm -hmm. Well, Thomas is happy. Thomas works there. But what about the tenant? All right, hold on. Let's have a let's have a little look at this for a minute. Donut shop says coffee and breakfast. Satisfaction is high. Needs a water pipe. Needs a water pipe. Have you got water? Water? Have you got water? Uh, where's the view? Yeah, you've got water. Daily rents a hundred. Revenue so far eighteen dollars. Revenues yesterday thirteen dollars. Uh I think you should go down. Uh, 75%. Because it's just like, he's not me. Um, we want him to stay. It's not like we want him to go away. We definitely want him to stay. Okay, so uh, let me see. I think we're actually doing well. The, the first two floors are very tricky. That's where you go broke. It's the first two floors. Then once you start getting the revenues coming in, you get some reasonable money. Mind you, the cost of building and the cost of putting in this infrastructure does seem to be a little on the high side. I'm just saying. But I'm feeling like the lobby should be full of food shops and things. The other thing which I don't understand is if these things have a distance, like, do they reach 
certain places and not reach certain places, or does it just happen to everywhere at all times? Well, that, I don't want to see Roy, I want to see the office. Rent report, satisfaction needs an electrical line. They're the employees. Doesn't actually say. But anyway, I'm sure we'll work it out as we go along. Um, but that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's episode number three or two. Two? Two, two? Episode two. I mean this and I'm confused. Thank you very much for joining me today. I do hope you are enjoying Project High Rise, uh, <coughs> episode two. And I will look forward to seeing you at the Gig Channel again soon. Until then, please stay well, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.